Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, Rocket Broadheads, RTP Outdoors, Trophy Rock, Spot Hog Releases, Wilderness Athlete, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. Well, it's the morning of October 10th and Collins and I are back home out in some public ground near our house. Um, it's actually a place that him and I are able to access by boat. And basically this entire morning before class, we're gonna be spending trying to just pop into different coves and see what we can find, see if we can find these spots that we wanna run some cameras, try to get an inventory on some different bucks on this area. Obviously, we're very far behind in the scouting um, for this particular spot. And we just got to this first spot that we thought would look interesting and not 50 yards up this ridge, there's already a trail camera. So we're gonna automatically exit this spot off. Um, we're gonna go to the next one, which kind of do that speed scout as fast as we can. So we've got quite a few cameras we can put out today. Um, it's a perfect day. Honestly, it feels great to be hunting. But we gotta get this done while we got the opportunity. So we're gonna get some cameras put up today and do some scouting. All right, so we're here to that second spot that we were talking about coming to. Um, basically, we chose this because we can get the boat deep up into a cove, and on this particular spot, the public wraps around into this timber pretty deep. Um, right as we were walking up this cove, we happened upon a bedding area, it looks like. There's a bunch of rubs around here, a couple scrapes. Um, we're gonna get a camera up, around this, up on this spot, and there's actually a ridge that we're gonna follow this trail leading out of this area and see what we can find up there. It's starting to spit rain, and that's another reason why we chose to come do this today versus hunt. Everything that we're doing right now, all this scent we're leaving, hopefully it can be washed away by the time we're out of here. So it's uh, kind of exciting to happen upon this right away. I mean, there was a scrape right next to it, but the deer actually broke down the tree. So it's exciting. Um, Hopefully we can get some cameras up and get some bucks on there within the next week or so. We can kind of make a game plan, see if this is a spot we want to focus on. But we're going to keep walking, see if we can't find any more sign, and come up with a plan. All right, well, we're coming to the end of this scouting mission, and we ended up putting up two cameras on different scrapes in this area. Um, one's coming right out of the bedding and one's coming right off this creek crossing. And that was one of the problems that we were thinking about we were gonna run into is accessing this properly. I mean, we're, we're definitely limited because we're coming up a cove. Um, but we actually, you can see what I'm in right now, we're gonna walk a creek out of this and see how far this will take us to the boat. And ideally, this should take us right to it. And that can give us a pretty safe entry route, hopefully. Um, one thing we're noticing also is that the wind, we've got a north wind today, and it's staying pretty constant. Obviously, it could change when we're up in the air, but from what we can tell, this should be a pretty stable spot. Um, tons of sign, lots of rubs, a couple scrapes, and with a good entry route, you know, the only thing we're missing is knowing what deer are in here. So, within the next week or so, we should come back. Um, we're gonna check these cameras and probably end up moving them, unless there's something big here. But, this is definitely something that's going to be on our radar to hunt within the next couple weeks. Um, it's close to home for us, and you know we can sneak in here sometimes before school. So we're going to get on out of here, see how far this creek will take us. And thank you for watching Midwest Whitetail, and see you next time.